Hello once again, nerds and nerds of the Nintendo Universe. Nudio here back with a pretty different video. And I know I don't usually put up opinion videos, I guess. But um, real recently, I was asked uh, by user Elon, uh, Elon Rosario, uh, who is actually comes onto my channel often. So, what's up, man? <laughs> and uh, he asked me what are my opinions on Smash 4 mods. And I thought instead of just replying to him in a comment, I thought I would. I thought this would be a good idea for a video, because it's just a topic that uh, I personally am really debatable on myself, and it's uh, it's just a good conversation, you know? I just kind of like sparky things. <laughs> but anyways, he did ask me how uh, my opinions on Smash 4 mods, and I'm not going to lean on one side, I am going to stay kind of neutral when it comes to these Smash 4 mods, because I know there's people who are against these Smash 4 mods, and people who are all for Smash 4 mods, and as for me, personally, I also am a bit neutral, just in general, so I'm just gonna tell you what I think are good and what I think are bad when it comes to Smash mods, so uh, I do have a list in front of me to kind of just, uh, not like a script, just a little bit of a list to guide me into basic things that I like and don't like about Smash mods, so uh, let's just go on and get right into it. Alright, so starting off with some of the good things, um, first of all we get a more balanced game. That's just something that we get and it's something that's honestly needed. Um, this game I felt was supposed to keep every character special and every character fair in their own special way with uh, each character kind of having something that others don't. So this goes as far as Jigglypuff's Rest, Little Max Knockout Punch, and Cloud's Limit Break, which are all just things unique to their character. No other character can have those uh, unique special moves. And uh, sadly, this isn't really as far as moveset wise, but it just goes as far as the characters because even though each character does do a good job at staying special, they did kind of fail at uh, keeping the game balanced, which uh, when the game first came out, a lot of people were having trouble on thinking who was going to be the best, who was going to be the worst, because each character was so special and unique. They all had something going for them. It was hard to pinpoint where they were, but now there's an obvious difference on Bayonetta being the best and Zelda and Jigglypuff being the worst. So it's when it comes to like Smash 4 mods, I really do like am. Um, full on forward in making the game more balanced, so uh, this goes as far as just buffing characters, nerfing characters, giving something they need, and take away things that characters don't need, which uh, just, in my opinion, makes the game more fair and makes it a bit more fun, and I would be completely fine with that, but if they don't want to balance the game with Smash 4 mods, then I'm completely fine with Smash 4 as it is, because don't get me wrong, I love the game right now as it is. Alright, so the next reason I have on my list is that it we can pretty much get fan service. And no, I don't mean this. This, no. No. When I mean fan service, I mean things that go as far as references to each character's game. Like, uh, to make the fans happy, basically, with their own game. And I know you can say this makes you happy. But I mean as far as things like Link's Fierce Deity's costume, or having a costume for, or having a color scheme for Skyward Sword, and uh, when I saw the Fierce Deity's costume, I thought it was amazing that Nintendo actually put it in. I thought it was great that they actually uh, knew that that's pretty much a good reference to Majora's Mask, and it was really, really cool seeing that, and it's actually one of the colors I actually use uh, whenever I play as Link. And uh, another, like, onto the fan service thing, a mod that really does take uh, full control of it is Project M. As we all see, there's like a Funky Kong alternate for DK, and there's also a Mr. M uh, like costume for Mario, which is kind of like a parody to Mr. L from Paper Mario, which is really, really cool. I honestly thought that it was great that they added a Mr. M character, or at least I think that was Project M. It could be a- it, I think it might have been Project M Legacy that did that, but you guys get my idea. They actually, like, the mods, like, cared for the fans. They gave things that uh, they thought would be cool, funny, references to the games, and when it comes to adding new character costumes, I know a bunch of people who would kill for a Zack Fair costume over Cloud. I know a lot, speaking for Adam, speaking for Taru, and speaking for Stein from Stein's Domain. 
they would all love a Zack Bear costume. So that's pretty much what I mean by fan service. Not this. And the third reason I have for good things is mods are just in generally in general fun. Um I would be lying if I said I didn't have fun with mods. They're just super freaking fun. They can get crazy sometimes. They add characters that we've always wanted and couldn't get, and that's honestly a good thing. If uh, what's it called? Sakurai doesn't want to add a character, we can do it ourselves, which uh, can be a bad and good thing, but I'll get more into how it's bad later, but uh, it's that's a good thing. If Sakurai doesn't want to program it, we can. I mean, that's not really like offending him. I'm not saying fine, we'll do it ourselves. No, I'm saying, you know what Sakurai? Thanks for the game. Thanks for what you gave us, and I think we could take things on from here. And, uh, it's not like he's doing this intentionally. No, he wants the game to be left alone like this. I'm just saying, we could add the characters we want now that we have the technology to do so, to edit movesets and all that. We could add things that we want as far as making things more fun, just seeing cooler things, and making a more balanced game than he's made. And, again, I'm not trying to compete with Sakurai, just saying we can take over from here if he doesn't want to work on it anymore. Alright, so now it's time to get into things that I feel like most people are going to want to see this video in general for, and that's for the bad things, or the cons, and as far as, in my opinion, I feel like there were more, there are more cons that come out to making Smash uh, 4 mods than there are pros, and when making this list, I did manage to think of more cons than there are more pros, but... Just for the sake of keeping this list balanced, I kept it to three pros, three cons, and these are some of the better cons that I felt like I came up with. So, uh, just to start things off, it just wouldn't make the game what it used to be. And what I mean by this is that this game brought a new experience, and a, basically a, an experience that we all liked. And uh, one thing we're actually doing, struggling right now as a community, is still learning what the game is. We're still learning, like, uh, as far as, like, competitive-wise, they're still learning who's the best, who's the worst. Uh, some people are hands down believing that Bayonetta is the best, and some people are debating that she could be easily beaten by some other characters. And, um, it's just, we still don't know about this game, so... Uh, even if we don't know about the main game, are we seriously, like, I guess ready to change it? And even though we would understand the game better if we did change it, do we really just want to ignore what we were given and then just move on to what we want? Because as far as me, no. I feel like as people we still don't know, uh, characters full potentials there are some characters that we have seen their full potentials but there are other characters that people still haven't explored and things that we are still learning such as the beto tech and it's things like this that make it really debatable on should we really start changing the game now or should we continue uh learning about the game more and more until we could fully understand what this game has to offer and maybe we'll like it even more even if it's just little things here and there and that's just how I feel about it I feel like there should just like we don't understand the game fully enough and if we start changing it now we'll never know what it is thus it wouldn't be what it used to be as far as my second con I have Nintendo does not want mods to exist and I'm pretty sure we all know about what Project M is and what happened to it. They shut themselves down and scared, uh, scared of legal action that Nintendo might take. And even though that Nintendo didn't take Project M down, I know that there are quite a few mods that did get their downloads taken down from Nintendo themselves. There were people who recommended I play Brawl mods and when I went to go download them, I would see a notification on the screen saying Nintendo was taking this download down or this download was taken down by Nintendo of America and as like they don't want these mods to exist they won't they don't want their games changed and Project M was scared that Brawl like that Nintendo still actually cares about Brawl uh, as far as modding it so Nintendo really does not like these mods if, like, even though we have a new Smash game, 
they're still looking at the old previous ones and they're not liking mods and they were still taking them down so in general like Nintendo doesn't like mods so they're really not gonna like view this as a good thing they're not gonna think oh look we're balancing the game no they're gonna think we're changing the game screw you guys and that's not something Nintendo would want instead they would probably make the game less fun as a sign of revenge but probably not because Nintendo wouldn't do such a thing to like attack children I don't know <laughs> but in general Nintendo doesn't want these mods so I'm not gonna be like they don't want them don't make them I'm just saying do we really want to risk take it like making go as far as making these mods just for them to be removed or taken down from uh, the public is basically what I'm trying to say with this and for my final con on this list I just want to say that it is probably my most this is probably the most opinionated one I have on here so um, this is again all of this list my opinion you guys could hate me if you want but uh, when it comes to mods, I feel like it would just ruin the point of Smash 4, as in, it pretty much render the game near useless. And what I mean by this is that, by changing all of so like, if we change all of Sakurai's work, then it's just, it would, in my eyes, it would kind of be insulting to him, and it would just kind of ruin S Smash 4. I know I said that like a bunch of times already, but le let me explain myself. Um, for Brawl... There is a mod, or at least there exists a mod for each character that there is in Smash 4. So, you take a look at all the characters in Smash 4, they all exist, like guaranteed, they are all exist in a previous Smash mod. Like, Little Mac was added in a Smash mod, Bayonetta was added in a Smash mod, Ryu was added in a Smash mod. And I guarantee you there will be one adding Corrin since there was adding Krom and Lucina. So, it would kind of ruin the point of Smash 4 because... With Brawl, we've already fully dissected it. Like, we know pretty much everything about Brawl, everything in the files, and I don't want Smash 4 to kind of be that dissected, because it's it would just ruin the point. I mean, we have all these mods with characters in Brawl, what would make Smash 4 so unique? Like, sure, you could say the stages or the modes, but people usually just play regular Smash, and one thing that I felt that made Smash 4 unique was the character roster and what they did. But when all of these characters can be added to Brawl, what's the point? And we see Brawl now, as, or at least most people see Brawl now as their gateway to get Project M. And I don't want Smash 4 to be a gateway to just use another mod. Hell, I know people who went as far as just buying Brawl just to play Project M. They didn't want to play it for Brawl. They wanted to play it for Project M, and I don't want uh, Smash 4 to be overshadowed like that by a mod. Uh, no offense to Project M, Project M was a seriously fun mod. Again, I played it a lot, but Smash 4 is just such a special and unique game. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, Smash Brothers game right now. And I just don't want it to be overshadowed by a mod. And to me, it's just, when you look at Project M, it's just... A, it's a t it's an attempted remake of Melee, just more balanced. So people bought Brawl just to play Melee, thus ruining the purpose of Brawl. Like, what's the point of Brawl if you're just gonna play Melee with a bit more characters? People could have just added more characters onto Melee, and there was no point in buying Brawl if you're just gonna play a Melee style Brawl. So why buy Smash 4 if you're just gonna buy it for another reason? Like, basically, it would make Smash 4, like, not wanted, I guess? Or just not Smash 4. It would ruin the point of it. Um, like, Brawl. Brawl got changed totally. It got blown out of the water with mods. People dissected that instantly. They started moveset swapping. They started adding characters, removing characters. They started balancing the game. Or, and also, quote-unquote, balancing the game. And... Although Project M did this for the good of making Brawl a bit more popular, Project M did overshadow Brawl, and in the end, Project M is just a reattempt uh, balancing melee. And if Brawl's gonna get overlooked like that, like to the point to where 
uh, people just kind of don't like Brawl or just ignore it. I don't want Smash 4 to be like that. I want Smash 4 to stay Smash 4, which is the original Smash 4 with all these unique, weird characters, the cart the artistic style, the cartoony uh, look in the character's eyes, how Duck Hunt looks whenever he's shooting, or how DDD looks whenever he's getting hit. It's just all creative, and I feel like Smash 4 should just stay the same, because personally, I like the game how it is, and that's just my opinion. So those are my opinions on the Smash 4 mods. I know that I kind of stuttered a lot, and I was really mixed on it. Um, I really should have gone over what I was going to say. Maybe I should have made a script, but um, those are just like my opinions. I just wrote down the notes, and uh, I just kind of took off from there. Like I literally just wrote like maybe three to four words. Like I wrote like things like fan service as pro, and then I put point of smash 4 ruined in a con and then i just kind of took off from there with all my thoughts so i'm not sure if that was a bad thing i'm not sure if that was a good thing you guys could tell me how i did in the comment section below or more importantly you guys could tell me your opinions on smash 4 mods in the comment section below i seriously would love to hear what you guys think about this maybe you guys don't think as harshly as i do or maybe you guys even just want smash 4 modded as soon as possible so I would seriously love to hear your guys' opinions, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please do click that like button. If you guys want to stay more updated with uh, Smash Brothers in general, please do click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, Nerdio is out.